Welcome back. More bad news coming to light for Signature Bank. U.S. prosecutors were reportedly investigating the now-failed bank for its crypto client work before it was seized by regulators. That's according to Bloomberg. Yahoo Finance's David Hollerith joins us with the details. So, David, I guess uh, not a big surprise here that crypto was somehow involved in one of these banks. It's a tangled web we weave here. Uh, what are the details? Yeah, so uh, Jared, like, so, like Silvergate Capital, which voluntarily shut down uh, less than a week before Signature was closed, uh, Signature was a crucial U.S. banking partner for crypto businesses. Um, and as of the end of December, it was the largest U.S. bank in terms of uh, crypto deposits. Um, and as far back as uh, late November, uh, Signature had, had made efforts to uh, uh, to say that it was reducing its exposure to uh, crypto deposits as a, as a share of total deposits. They plan to drop drop that from twenty percent to fifteen percent. Now, interestingly, just to go through a list of some of the crypto firms that Signature Bank banked. Um, it includes uh, the now bankrupt lender Voyager Digital, which is currently trying to sell its customer deposits to Binance US, which, as we know from bankruptcy documents, is under investigation by the SEC. Um, it's also It also was uh, the banker for Binance International until January. Binance International has also been under investigation by the Justice Department for a number of years. Uh, Signature has also banked FTX and Alameda Research and was hit by a class action lawsuit in February where uh, it was the accuser uh, claimed uh, that Signature was aware of and allowed the uh, commingling of FTX assets, customer assets um, through its Signet blockchain-based payment network, which allows crypto firms to bank outside of typical hours. Um, now, all this to say, um, in the Bloomberg report that we've seen uh, this morning, uh, it was pointed out um, by the Justice Department, uh, or excuse me, the U.S. Uh, uh, attorney in Manhattan that um, uh, essentially uh, they, there is a statement that was put out by uh, SEC Chair Gary Gensler. Um, in that statement, um, Gensler said uh, the that uh, the securities regulator is has been monitoring the situation without speaking to any single firm uh, would investigate um, and bring enforcement actions against any potential uh, securities violations. So that's obviously um, uh, you know fair, fairly uh, vague and could mean a lot of things. But um, the fact that they pointed to that it does make us wonder whether or not there might be more here than we know. Um, it's interesting, David, when we look at this bank. I mean, Signature has been around for a while, right? It's not always been a crypto bank because it existed before crypto existed. So how, what do we know about how much crypto played into the company's demise? Yeah, um, uh, Signature board member uh, Barney Frank has, has uh, after the closure, has been going out and, and, and talking to uh, press um, and, and he actually made claims um, that the culprit for why the bank saw high withdrawal rates at the end of last year, or excuse me, at the end of last week, um, was due to fear from crypto uh, uh, because of their crypto focus, uh, given that Silvergate, another crypto friendly U.S. bank, um, uh, voluntarily closed uh, last week. Um, we also... Uh, uh, have statements from uh, the, the regulator that actually shut down Signature, the New York State Department of Financial Services. Um, and to paraphrase what they said, um, they said uh, crypto uh, was not related to their, their decision for shutting down the business. Um, they also said um, that after the run on deposits seen on Friday, which could have to do with Silvergate shutting down as well as uh, SVB, which happened uh, both in the in the days prior, um, they, they had worked with the bank officials um, over the weekend, and the bank had failed to provide reliable and consistent data, which created a significant crisis of confidence in the lead, in the bank's leadership. And um, it was this decision to take over the bank uh, that was mainly due to um, data and the fact that on Monday, they, the regulator did not expect Signature could, could open business and conduct it in a safe and sound manner. Um, 
They also pointed out uh, Signature's traditional uh, business. We don't really have a breakout of, of how much was commercial real estate, but um, commercial real estate is, is a high um, uh, percentage of deposits. And um, as Frank pointed out, um, it was a lot of those depositors that uh, got scared around the end of last last week. Yeah, it makes sense. And then we see that herd mentality once that starts happening, whether it's at Signature or at SVB. Dave, thanks so much. Our Dave Hallerth.